Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and you're looking at the record holder Neutron Star. This is the most massive Neutron Star we've discovered and it just so happens that it actually changed our understanding of how massive these unusual objects can get. Let's talk about this relatively recent discovery and welcome to What The Math. Now let's actually start uh, by looking at the system itself and also I'm going to show you how far away it is as well. So this is a system known as PSR J2215 plus 5135. You can actually discover the system in a Space Engine by just looking up this designation right here. And what's interesting about this particular system is that it's basically a binary where a star is orbiting a neutron star which implies that the neutron star is most likely stealing a lot of the material from the uh, actual star, which is why we were able to detect it, because it's releasing a lot of energy uh, due to this interaction. Now, um, what's interesting about this particular neutron star is that it's actually currently a record holder for the most massive neutron star we've discovered. Its total mass is approximately 2.3 times the mass of the sun. And what's interesting is that this actually is beyond the limit we thought neutron stars even have. In other words, this neutron star basically kind of uh, unofficially erased our previous theories about how massive these objects get. We actually thought that at this point it should either explode or become a black hole. But this one didn't. And what's interesting is that even Universe Sandbox um, has the limit set to about 2.2. Um, so here, if I actually try to change the mass of this pulsar binary, it automatically goes supernova. As a matter of fact, it sort of just disappears and uh, leaves nothing behind. And so um, let's actually talk a little bit more about this system because I wanted to recreate it here in Universe Sandbox just to help you visualize what's actually going on here. Now I'm going to create this um, from scratch here and we're going to also name it Redback Binary because that's the unofficial name for this. Uh, Redback is actually a spider, a type of a spider in Australia that is responsible for eating its partner, uh, kind of like the Black Widow in a sense. Uh, although it's also one of the most dangerous spiders in the world. So we're going to place a star around this. And I'm going to try to make this as realistic as possible. So we know that the orbit of this star, um, or the single orbit here, takes about four hours. And it orbits around the neutron star, always uh, facing with the same side. In other words, it's tidally locked to this neutron star, which actually creates a very unusual effect that we were never been able to see before. What happens here is actually kind of fascinating. This side that's always facing the neutron star is about 2,500 degrees higher than the opposite side. And the scientists studying this, and this is actually scientists from University of uh, Catalonia in Barcelona, uh, specifically led by Manuel Linares, um, discovered that basically this side, the tidally locked uh, brighter side, is about 7,800 degrees Celsius, whereas the opposite side is about 5,200 uh, to 400 degrees Celsius. And they were able to see this difference when they were looking at the emissions of magnesium and hydrogen uh, that was coming off this star. And essentially they discovered that not only is there a hot phase and also a cold phase, but also that because of how much those emissions changed uh, with every orbit, this was an extremely, extremely massive neutron star never seen before. In other words, this was the record holder for the biggest mass so far. Here's actually another simulation uh, from the same scientists that show you uh, a slightly more exaggerated version of this if the star was much bigger, just to show you how essentially super hot this side gets and how the other side basically stays a little bit colder, kind of the typical temperature of a star. Now, this implies that Many similar objects that have a neutron star um, orbiting around them may actually experience very similar heating effects. And this is something that I think most scientists didn't really expect to find. And uh, this also implies that a planet orbiting around a neutron star might also actually receive extreme um, heating effects that uh, were not actually anticipated before. 
Some of the first exoplanets discovered were actually around the pulsar to begin with, so that means that those planets may actually be a little bit warmer than we expected them to be. Now, even though this kind of looks really cool, uh, it is slightly exaggerated. Uh, I think the more realistic view would actually be here in Universe Sandbox, where you have the neutron star uh, relatively far away. So the, the single orbit here takes about 4.14 hours. And uh, you have this star slightly losing its mass to the neutron star, with a lot of the material eventually forming an accretion disk around the neutron star that then creates these beautiful um, relativistic jets that we can see from planet Earth. Now, all of this um, is still going to happen for quite a long time until the star eventually either um, collides with the neutron star, which is something we're going to recreate in a few seconds, or it might actually lose its mass completely and turn into a somewhat unusual gas giant. Uh, we've actually detected at least one such object that used to be a star and then essentially became a planet. And so we don't really know what the future of the star is, we just know that the neutron star itself is quite an interesting record holder. So whether this star turns into a planetary mass, technically not really a planet because of the way it's created, um, or it actually collides with a neutron star, is not something we can predict right now, but we can definitely try to recreate this in Universe Sandbox just to see what happens. Also, I think if I put the star close enough, it's going to start losing a lot of its mass due to extremely, extremely high tidal effects. And there you go. It would just initiate a supernova because they basically collided with one another. So for all we know, maybe this is actually what's going to happen to this object in the next few million or possibly billion years. Now, because this star is actually about 10,000 light years away from our planet, even if supernova actually happens, it's going to be very dim. It's barely going to be brighter than a typical star. So it's going to be almost impossible to see from our planet. But nevertheless, discovering this unusual system and also finding not only the most massive neutron star, but also discovering a star that has a much hotter side facing the neutron star, something we haven't really seen it before, definitely makes this particular uh, finding very interesting, a lot more interesting than some of the other findings of 2018. And, well, anyway, do check out this particular object in Space Engine. The name for it is right here, PSR J2215. And also check out these videos from the Polytechnic University of Catalonia. The links for them are in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out. And as always, bye bye. And if you still haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. And maybe even share this video with someone who enjoys learning about space through simulations and video games. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out. And as always, bye bye.